Hi, my name is Liane Hubert and I'll be showing you the basic clinical exam of a dog and how to take the vital parameters. In this video, we'll be showing you how a dog is handled in a clinic to perform a clinical examination and how to take vital signs. Firstly, we have to ensure the safety of everyone as well as the patient. We approach the patient calmly and confidently. Never leave the patient unattended on a table. We will now start the hands-on examination by looking at the vital parameters. This is commonly referred to as recording the TPR. TPR stands for temperature, pulse and respiration. The body temperature is measured rectally and a normal temperature ranges from 37.5 to 39.5 degrees Celsius. Next up, we measure the pulse. We need to locate the femoral artery, which runs on the inside of the hind leg. After we locate the artery, we palpate it with our index and middle fingers for a minute. The normal range in adult dogs is 80 to 120 beats per minute. Heart rate is usually determined at the same time as the pulse rate. We place the stethoscope on the left side, between the fifth and sixth rib, and when we lift the leg, slightly behind the elbow. Here we can hear three of the dog's four heart valves, which are called pulmonary, aortic and mitral, or PAM. The fourth heart valve, the tricuspid valve, can be heard on the right side. For every heartbeat heard, a pulse should be felt. We evaluate the dog's respiration in two steps. We observe the animal while it is breathing, and after that, we listen to the lungs with a stethoscope. The normal respiration rate is 15 to 30 breaths per minute. The hydration status is another parameter we look at while taking vital signs. To determine this, we pinch a skin fold between the thumb and index finger and lift it upwards. This is usually performed on the top of the neck area. If the patient is not dehydrated, the skin will go back to its normal position within one to two seconds. We can also observe the mucous membranes to determine the hydration status. We look at the mucous membranes of the mouth or the eye. The mucous membrane should be pink, moist and glistening. While we lift the upper lip of the mouth to observe the gums, we can also determine the capillary refill time. The capillary refill time aids in determining the perfusion of mucous membranes. We measure it by pushing down on the upper gums for a few seconds until that area turns pale. We then release the pressure and observe the time it takes for the depressed area to regain normal mucous membrane color as blood flows back into the area. The normal capillary refill time is one to two seconds. After we recorded the vital signs, we can continue with the clinical examination of the entire patient. It is performed to examine the various body systems. We follow a systematic approach where we usually start at the head and work down towards the tail to ensure that we do not leave anything out. 